during their long lifespan, pine trees have to cope with multiple biotic aggressors, being especially susceptible at young ages. To defend themselves, pines produce a large amount of carbon-based chemical defenses, mainly terpenes and phenolics, that are accumulated in almost every tissue in quite large concentrations. Producing chemical defenses are thus highly costly for pines, needing large amounts of carbon resources for their production. To save resources, pines are able to tune the investment on defenses according to the risk of damage, being able to drastically increase the production of chemical defenses in response to the detection of a biotic challenge. These are the so-called induced defenses. But synthesizing induced defenses also requires large amount of carbon resources, which can either derive from current photosynthates or from stored carbon pools, a question that has received very little attention. Here, we performed a greenhouse experiment aimed to determine at what extent the ability of young pine trees to respond to insect herbivory, increasing chemical defenses depends on the availability of current photosynthates. To this end, we limited the availability of current photosynthates by complete light deprivation. Without light, there is no photosynthesis and then there is no production of new carbohydrates. We exposed pine seed lines to real herbivory by a bark tour insect either under natural sunlight or under complete light deprivation. Exploring whether light deprivation conditioned the increase of non-volatile resin and total polyphenolics in response to insect damage. If current photosimulates are essential for producing induced defenses, light deprivation should strongly hamper their production because of carbon starvation. However, if stored carbon will be the main source for the synthesis of new induced defenses, the effect of light limitation on their production will be less relevant. We explored this question with juveniles of three pine species, two species native to Europe and one native to North America, but widely planted in southwestern Europe. The insect herbivore was the pine weevil Elobius abieris, a harmful oligocos bark chewer widely distributed in Eurasia. When pines were two year old, seed lines were supposed to weevil fit in, confining two adult insects into plastic tubes. Half of the plants were covered with black opaque polyethylene bags completely reducing light availability. The other half remained just with the transparent tube. After 1.5, 3 and 7 days of insect feeding, pines were harvested to estimate. We will damage by measuring the deep arteria in the stems. Non-volatile resign in the whole stem after extraction with hexane. Total polyphenolics in the phloem cortex tissues by the following Ciocalteo method. Weevil damage was much more intense at dark conditions in the three pine species. After seven days of weevil exposition, the deep arteria was nearly twofold larger under light deprivation than under natural sunlight. 
Pine juveniles responded to weevil feeding, increasing the concentration of chemical defenses in the stems. This was very evident for non-volatile resin in the three pine species, with the concentration of non-volatile resin increasing proportionally to weevil damage. On the other hand, the effect of weevil damage on the concentration of total polyphenolics was not evident. The ability of pine trees to respond to weevil feeding, producing induced chemical defenses, was reported before by other authors, and it is assumed to be a critical process for effectively resist insect attacks. But the most important result of this study is that light deprivation did not constrain the ability of the pine juveniles to respond to insect feeding. If current photoassimilates are essential for producing induced defenses, the slope of the relationship between weevil damage and the non-volatile resin should be steeper under sunlight conditions than under complete light deprivation. However, the statistical analysis revealed the opposite. This relationship was statistically not different between the two light regimes. In other words, light deprivation did not alter the ability of the pine trees to respond to insect damage elicited in the production of induced resin. This result was consistently found in the three pine species. These results indicate that pine juveniles can use stored carbohydrates for the production of induced chemical defenses as current photosynthates are not available without light of radiation. Based on these results, we can speculate that the resistance of pine juveniles is not depleted at dark conditions, at least regarding the quantity of production of resin. Many other induced traits could, however, be altered. <laughs>